your first alert weather with meteorologist Jeff Tenoyer. So Jeff, yesterday we were talking about severe weather, first alert weather day. Now we need to talk about the cold. It's pretty chilly out there. It was 40 degrees when I woke up this morning. Yeah, while we slept, I mentioned this morning, we changed seasons. You know, yeah. all of a sudden it's February again, <laughs> and a little chilly outside, but uh, cold today, cold tonight, but I think you'll like the temperatures for the weekend. Outside right now, a lot of cloud cover that makes it feel a little cooler. In Athens right now, hard to find some sunshine. If we could pop a little sunshine, it would go a long way to maybe making the day feel a little better. But boy, big changes taking place after that heavy rainfall with thunderstorms last night. Night, prompting some flash flooding across the area. And then the bottom dropped off the temperatures and waking up this morning. We were in the upper 30s to low 40s. The problem is, is since this morning when I was on air with Eric this morning, we haven't moved the temperatures. They're still in the same spot and that means it's a cold afternoon. 24 hour temperature change. How drastic is it really? We are 30 to 35 degrees colder right now than we were yesterday at this time. That's a tremendous difference. And then you just sprinkle in a little wind on top of it out of the north or northwest. 10 to 20 miles an hour, you get an occasional gust of 25. And I got to break out the wind chill graphic again. I mean, oh my goodness, it's that chilly outside. It feels like 24 in Winchester, 26 in Meridianville, and 28 in Albertville. Again, yesterday, temperatures were in the 70s pretty much at this time. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> wind speed gusts, they're going to lose the winds tonight. And I do think that generally after 6 p.m., the gusts will finally back off, which will be nice. But that's just going to allow those temperatures to drop. So you got a cold start to the day on Saturday with temperatures in the 20s. But we rebound back to the 50s in the afternoon. Not ideal, but it's still not bad. And on Sunday, you wake up in the 30s. I think we nudge 60 in the afternoon. A little breeze will pick up in the afternoon, but sunny and nice. And overall, the weekend weather-wise looks pretty good. No rain, dry, get a break from any kind of rain or severe weather. But when's the next chance of rain? Well, it comes back on Monday. Slight little chance of some showers. And then go into Tuesday and Wednesday. The chances will start to get better and better by the middle of the week for some rain. And maybe even a few rumbles of thunder as well. Let's take a look ahead for next week. We know the weekend is sunshine. That's nice. But next Monday, hard to talk about Monday on a Friday. But we are going to. A few little spotty showers. Not much. A lot of clouds. Temperatures in the 60s. And then Monday night into Tuesday morning, a little wave of rain will push south to north. And nothing really all that heavy, just some light stuff as we go into Monday night, Tuesday morning. And then as we go into Tuesday afternoon, a few more spotty showers. Best chance of rain Tuesday night into Wednesday morning will be right along the state lines of Alabama and Tennessee. So if you're in Fayetteville, you have a better chance of rain than, say, Coleman. And then we go into Wednesday, may start dry, but then the better chance of rain for next week likely comes Wednesday night into Thursday. And that's when we could be talking about not just heavy rainfall, but some strong gusty winds. And we got to keep an eye out of the sky. It's a long way out, but there could be some rumbles of thunder that could produce some strong thunderstorms as we go into the middle part of next week. Temperatures at that point will have gone way up. So here we are talking about a chilly afternoon by the middle of next week when that rainfall comes uh, when temperatures are rebounding all the way back into the 70s on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And once that rain threat pushes on out a little cooler as we go into Friday and for next weekend. Good to know.